could be a Mars breakthrough. 100,000 people will live on Mars before the end of this century, claims the scientist. Well, we've had a couple of informative videos concerning Mars. And if you look back, a couple of videos concerning what the ancient Sumerians, the Atlanteans claim, as far as the Anunnaki, the face of Sidonia on Mars, the pyramids on Mars in the Sidonia Plateau. Supposedly the face was the uh, structure placed on top of the tomb of an Anunnaki leader who was exiled in a spaceship flying over Mars and then uh, with a few of his uh, entourage who lived on Mars. He, uh, at the time when Mars still had an atmosphere and uh, uh, an, a magnetic uh, type of uh, system as we have uh, Earth's magnetosphere. Something happened though after that and there was a chaos in the solar system most probably to what they referred to as Nibiru or Planet X and things changed including the atmosphere of Mars that was taken stripped away and it's supposed that the face on Mars could be the structure that they place on top of the Anunnaki leader's tomb and he wasn't alone there were several 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 of his entourage buried there with him and you'll notice in a couple of videos back having to do with the revelations of UFO ETs Anunnaki, ancient humans before the flood, and Anunnaki built the Egyptian pyramids. Thoth, the Atlantean from Egypt to America, went concerning the 10th Sumerian tablets. A couple of videos back. Very interesting stuff in there. And of course, the Sidonia Plateau of Mars with the face and the pyramids that have the same alignment as the Giza pyramids of Egypt and Mars by the way in uh, the uh, Arabic country Mars means Cairo Cairo meaning of course the Cairo of Egypt and um, the uh, alignment of those pyramids not only with Orion's belt but also with the uh, Dipper the Big Dipper so uh, we see those uh, connections the alignments of these constellations on the Sidonia Plateau as well as in Egypt. And the Egyptian pyramids of Giza also have the same alignment in the Chinese pyramids as well. Um, so now they want to send a colony, have people living there. Of course, that's very difficult because of that. there's no uh, uh, protection from a magnetosphere. There's no water. There's no uh, atmosphere. There's no air. And, of course, the cosmic rays and the solar rays would bombard the surface and anything living on it, making life impossible. But here we have scientists saying that by the end of this century, they will have 100,000 humans living on the surface of Mars. It will be colonized by that many Earthlings. Before the end of this century, the head of Mars society speculates and announces the space agency NASA hopes to reach the red planet in a couple of years, basically by ten, in 10 years or so, by the 2030s. And Elon Musk, with his rockets, is hatching his plans to land on Mars. And uh, last year, the SpaceX chief, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, revealed the estimated cost to, of setting up camp, a camp, a colony on Mars, claiming a self-sustaining city should be built by 2050. Dr. Robert Zubrin, American aerospace engineer, head of the Mars Society, now claims the plans could come to fruition before the century is out. Speaking to WP Magazine in Poland, Dr. Zubrin shared his enthusiasm about humanity's big adventure in space. He says, I'm convinced that by the end of the century, Mars colony will count tens, if not 100,000 residents. And these people will, step by step, be using the latest tools and technology, adapting to the environment and uh, changing the environment to fit their needs. How will they do that is another story. He says, because one of the priorities for off-world colonies has to be strong independence from resource shipments from Earth. Therefore, we will have to learn how to efficiently harvest plants, use every single lead and uh, 
recalling scheme on the unimaginable scale, extract raw materials and process them into tools. Finally, we'll have to try to control the hostile climate. Now, NASA says that they uh, aim to land the first humans on Mars in a two-fold program, dubbed Moon to Mars, and NASA will first land astronauts on the Moon by the year 2024, establishing a permanent base of operations on the Moon and also in lunar orbit, something like an ISS, but um, outside of the lunar orbit. Then NASA says they will use the knowledge gained from the Moon um, missions to launch astronauts towards Mars. They say the exploration of the Moon and Mars is intertwined. The Moon provides an opportunity to test new tools and instruments, equipment that could be used on Mars, including human habitats, life support systems, and technologies and practices that could help us build self-sustaining outposts away from Earth. Also, Vice President Mike Pence yesterday said that the President has made it clear that we're going to accomplish this goal by any means necessary, he said. NASA, though, is not the only player because uh, wanting to reach, reach Mars. The rocket module Elon Musk hopes to reach Mars in the coming years with his powerful Starship rocket. And Dr. Zubrin has argued Mr. Musk will land on Mars before NASA or any other space agency. He said even if every one of his projects has a two or three year delay, it will eventually be realized. His determination, his determination is enormous. So we, will, we shall see. Uh, he says you'll see that it will all develop rapidly because technology is happening to develop exponentially. The Martian colonists will have to use all their knowledge, all of their ingenuity, because only this will help them survive in an unfavorable environment. In the long run, transform this environment into a friendly one. So how is that going to take place? I'd like to know, because where are you going to get all the oxygen from? Anyway, and water, uh, let alone uh, a magnetosphere. So interesting. Tell me what you think about all this. And if you'd like, you can go back and revert to the, uh, the UFO ETs Anunnaki and the Anunnaki building Egyptians, the Egypt's pyramids. And that Thoth from Egypt also went to America and built cities there with pyramids as well. And that goes again with the, in line with the Emerald Tablets that he wrote. He was an Atlantean. So I'll leave links below for you for this. This is on Express UK by uh, Sebastian Ketley. And this is just a, a Viking image, the NASA image of Mars. You can see the face around the two o'clock position. And you have the, this is the Sidonia Plateau of Mars, and you had the pyramids. And this is a very clear image of pyramids on Mars. So obviously there was an ancient civilization there before the huge destruction thousands of years ago. And there are those that claim that this could have been because of the uh, what happened causing the deluge of the Old Testament, the Great Flood. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.